everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody is having an awesome day. It's Sunday morning. I uh, hope you're waking up with uh, high expectations. I hope you're waking up with a very positive mindset. I hope you're waking up looking to do some exceptional and extraordinary things. Look, uh, no, you guys didn't see me on yesterday. Uh, yesterday was uh, Daddy Day. I'm still on a high, you know, uh, uh, being a dad, you know, uh, and trying to do it the right way and, you know, bumping your head and falling short and all the other things that come with it. If we're going to be honest with ourselves, uh, you get these moments where, uh, you feel like maybe I'm not doing as bad as I think I am. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm holding it down, you know, maybe, uh, done something positive uh so uh i got to uh do some daddy stuff and obviously it's personal but uh i i, I absolutely enjoyed myself i want to thank my wife for the role she played in it uh she is absolutely unbelievable uh to have a woman like that in your corner who's not threatened uh, by your kids that aren't biologically hers. And for those who know me know that I don't do the biological, not biological. Uh, I'm the dad. And I'm not trying to push any other man out of the way. I love to co-parent with dads. I have no problem with that. But I'm going to treat my wife's kids as if they're mine. You'll never hear me make a difference between which of my kids are biological and which are not. Uh, and that's even from previous marriage. All my kids are my kids. Uh, and I was reared that way by my great grandmother. And uh, that's just who I am. But I wanna thank my wife who played an integral role in making yesterday possible. And the, here's the beautiful thing. I get to do daddy thing. And, and when I say daddy thing, I mean something outside of what I do on a daily basis because I'm dadding all damn day. Trust me, I'm dadding all damn day. I'm, tr I'm doing everything not to catch a case every day. I, 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 these kids are something else. And, I, I, and we, the oldest is married and 34. The youngest is five. Uh, yesterday was the youngest. I've got a 21 year old going on 22 in March who's graduating next Friday so I'll be dadding again uh you know and uh you know I'm, I'm proud of her but just to see her uh do what she's gonna do on next week is gonna be exciting so and you know um that's this is gonna be the third so it's that's crazy so I'm I'm just really really happy and excited about um the way the way things are going for my kids and it's not always easy and it's not always you know everything's going great i mean kids are kids and growing up and i tell people all the time uh i tell people all the time that to me parenting becomes harder the older your kids get yes you got to do a lot of stuff and you got to keep your eyes on them when they're young you got to make sure they don't bump their heads too much and and a whole bunch of other things but uh, I tell you, when your kids get grown and they go out in that world on their own, you're hoping that you've prepared them. You're hoping that you've given them everything they need to stand up and, and, and take care of themselves and, and win in life. You know how big I am on that. But uh, I made it to my destination, but uh, to, to, to win in life. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I, I, I love what was going on with my kids. I love the challenge of still rising to meet them and at their point of need and and where they're at in life without judging them without uh being condescending to them with just loving them and saying hey let me see what i can do on my end to make your life successful and make sure that you're getting the most out of it it means so much to me uh so i'm just i, I i'm sharing that that's not even why i got on but i'm sharing that uh there's a lot that's going on in the black community that we got to be careful uh, marion and i was just talking about the uh in importance of making sure that our children are really truly prepared for uh, uh, post high school uh, academic life, especially those who are trying to go out of town or live on campus. And, uh, you know, there are so many challenges that come along with that. 
you know, just as a usual, you know, even back when I went off to school and, you know, and everything, but it's an entirely different beast now. And we've got to make sure we're doing what's right for our kids. We've got to make sure, you know, that we're not taking a very casual and irresponsible approach to just letting them go out and have fun. Uh, we don't live in a world that allows that right now. Yes, you, you should be able to have fun, but sending your kid off to a school where they could, at the at, at on a good day, come back pregnant, get raped. Now we got kids disappearing. We got kids being killed by their roommates. We got kids, I mean, the th and, and on top of that all, we're finding out that the educations aren't producing lifestyles that can support the children. Uh, these kids are in debt well into their 30s and 40s some. Uh, there are some that are in debt in their 50s, still paying off student loans. Uh, student loans are an enemy of wealth building, and we need to understand that now do we need to have our kids prepared do they need skill sets do they do they need something that they can go out and work with yes and that doesn't have to be acquired necessarily uh through uh the the traditional channels of advanced uh academic studies college universities bachelor's max masters and and doctorates now there are some times where those things are needed you know uh if you're going to be a nurse you can go out and get that debt. Why? Because nurses are exceptionally paid and they are still, a sh that's still a huge shortage of, and we're expecting a growth uh, in the medical field in the area that demands nurses for at least another 10 years. So yes, that's a place where you can go and you can get it. Plus there's so much you can do with it. Now as a nurse, you can go into advanced studies and become a nurse practitioner and actually start your own freaking business. So that's what we gotta be looking at. How can we own our own destiny? That's important. That's what I want to. I want us to focus on. I want to. I don't want to send our kids off just to have fun. That should not be their number one goal. Moving into uh, the early stages of adulthood. Yes, you know, you don't want them to be so serious that they get no joy out of life. But you want them to get joy out of making progress. You want their joy to be connected to their freedom. And that's what we got to work on. So I'm gonna get off of here. This is kind of going to kind of going to connect to uh, the uh, video I just posted. Uh, but I just wanted to share this. The one I've just posted was actually from yesterday when I was on the way to go do my daddy thing. But uh, this one is the morning after. So hopefully you guys uh, get something from this. I'm going to jump out and I got a lot of stuff to do uh, to make up for what I didn't do yesterday. So I'm running behind. I'm going to get on that. But I definitely thank you guys. Let's make something happen today. Let's make something happen. And oh, yeah. Don't forget to support the work we're doing in the black community. If it's ever a point in time we need to be highly active in the black community, it's right now. I cannot stress that enough. We need to be active in the Black Men Lead Rite of Passage program, the Restoring Ghettos Forgotten Daughters program, the Music is Life program, the Black Empowerment, uh, the Black Community Empowerment Initiative. All of these things are extremely important. Uh, we need your support. Uh, the paragraph, the first paragraph in every uh, in the description box in every video is going to tell you how to support us. We need your support. On that note, I'm out. Have a great day.